one half of all landfills comes from residential renovation and demolition activities. If you ever wanted to develop a sense of how much waste the renovation of one house could develop, you may just have to watch these episodes of house transformations TV shows, or what they call house flipping. The waste is sent to landfills. This is directly responsible for 35 to 40 percent of global carbon dioxide. Other construction firms, they apply better scenarios. They implement a cradle-to-grave process where waste is being safely disposed. In green architecture, however, a much more efficient scenario is being followed. A process that we call cradle-to-cradle. -cradle. According to this process, raw materials are being brought in from their place of origin, post-processed, fabricated, and then employed. At the end of their lifetime, the building undergoes a deconstruction process which involves carefully taking apart portions of the building, removing their contents with the primary goal of reuse in mind. Therefore, materials can serve more than one lifetime. In many cases, they serve as many lifetimes as forever. So here is my message to our partners in the construction industry. Demolition versus deconstruction. They are completely two different approaches. And because global warming is worsening, it's time to reconsider our choices, extensively modify our options, and it's time to do it right.